We are here with a representative of France with a very particular song, which is the title, give it correctly. Fulen. Fulen. Why did you choose a, bre um, a song in Breton language, specifically to take it to touring? When I, when I wanted to make uh, the track, I wanted to work with um, with someone. I, 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 attends, attends, je recommence. I restart. <laughs> I wanted to make a song with uh, ethnic voices from home, and two or three weeks, stuff like that. Uh, I, uh, I met Marin in a bar in Rennes. Yeah, and you wanted to try some things with your grandma voice, no? Yeah, with my grandma voice. I tried something, uh, but it was not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so cool. So we met. Um, so, for us, it's very important to speak and to sing in Britain because we met at school and we learned to speak Britain at school at the age of two, three years old, maybe. Uh, we met there at mid-school with Marine and uh, in high school with, uh, with Terrain. We learned there to sing some traditional singing, Britain singing, in Britain. <laughs> so we were used to, to it. That's very important for us to think in Britain because that's our heritage, our heart language. And we, we did some stages, some gigs, at the Celtic Connection in Glasgow, at the Inter-Celtic Festival in Lorient. And we were really happy to, to try some new mixes of music and to meet with Alvan to try to make some electronic rock and all the mixes of different instruments that he makes with our voices and our language. And here we are. Also because it's very important to preserve this uh, heritage. It's a, a very important thing to maintain the original languages. Uh, yes, it is. Um, the Breton language, we're really proud to speak the, that this language which was also the language of our ancestors. And it's a very actual and, um, and modern language. It's a... Uh, it's um, yes, it's alive. It's it's contemporary. It's here, yeah. and we really we live it. We live in Breton. We dream in Breton. We do everything in Breton. Uh, we drink in Breton, yeah. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and it's it is uh, such a strong symbol to be here at Eurovision, uh, performing in in our language. It's it's great. <laughs> Do you know something instead about Italian music? Some artists do you you like? Oh, the Eurovision or from uh, both? Oh, life. Uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of Freddie Mercury, so I, I listen uh, often listen at uh, Queen or uh, some uh, rap music, French music, uh, polyphonic songs, and traditional polyphonies. Mm. That's it. Yeah. And we we listen to a lot of the other songs, uh, which are going to to be with us in Turin, and there are a lot of wonderful songs. What and do you I, think about it? Um, and I, I'm a metalhead, so I love Slipknot, <laughs> <laughs> I love Corn, I love uh, Bring Me the Horizon, uh, for years, and. Um, I learned guitar because of Slash, so from Guns N' Roses. So, so I'm very, uh, I, I really like music. <laughs> 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 we'll see you on stage in Turin playing guitar too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. We can't wait. We we have to expect many many surprises. I bet. Yeah, we are preparing some some surprises, but that's secret. This will be the same, but better. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, a last thing I want to ask you, if you have a, a thought um, or message for people in Ukraine in this difficult moment. For us, music is um, a peace message, and Eurovision 
uh, brings all the countries and people together. So that's a huge message for us and we are really happy to be part of it. And we can wait to see you live in Turin. So thank you very much, guys. And see you in May. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your support.